Hey guys, Rambo Ryan here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your Xiaomi Mi router to your Parrot Bebop drone and your iOS device. I believe this setup works the same for Android devices, but I am not an Android user, so I would not be the best video to show you how to do that. So this video is for Apple devices only, and without further ado, let's just go through all the, uh, the supplies you'll need. Obviously, the Parrot Bebop drone with a charged battery and make sure the battery is plugged in um, and strapped in like this. So once we have that, you're going to want the Xiaomi Mi router. And we're just going to flip up the arms like that. The, uh, the antennas, just so we have a little better range. You're going to need a paper clip, just like this, with the, uh, the point to reset the router. You're going to need a USB power bank, like this one. We're just going to plug the USB into the power bank. You can use any different types. Just make sure it has enough power to power the router. And then obviously your iPad, iPhone, or iPod. Okay, now to actually hook the or connect the router to our drone and our uh, iOS device here, we're first going to want to take the paper clip here. And we're going to want to put it in the reset slot right here, which is right on the bottom of the router. Press and hold for three seconds. And then the router should be reset and it should be back to factory settings. Then we're going to want to turn the drone on by pressing the power button on the back. And I'm going to move it down here so, uh, so we don't hear the fan because the fan's going to turn on and all that stuff. And then we can take our router right here and we can plug in the, uh, the USB power bank that we have. Plug it right into the back. And the light on the bottom should turn on. So now while all of those are booting up, on our Wi-Fi settings screen on our iPad, we are first going to see the original network that the drone is sending out. And then after the router goes through all of its configurations and its factory setups, we should see another network that's pretty random just Xiaomi me and then just random letters and that will be the network that we will want to connect to so we can connect the router to the drone and our iPad okay so now we see the Xiaomi 5d c6 it's gonna be some random numbers right after it we're going to want to click that and it's gonna pull up a page on setting up the uh, the router here So we see me Wi-Fi, my Wi-Fi, whatever it's going to load. Then it's going to bring us to the EULA or the uh, user agreement page. And that's basically just accepting their terms and policies. I don't even know how to read it. It's all in Chinese. I translated the whole page so I can uh, actually read it. And I will walk you guys through it and just basically tell you what buttons to press. So it'll take a little while for the page to... Uh, to launch here and it finally launches and this page is the uh, the user agreement here um, this bottom checkbox it's to accept for user improvement programs I just don't click that because I don't really want them looking into all my stuff and then we click continue which is the big blue box right there and the next page is going to be setting up if we want the router to make its own Wi-Fi signal, like act like a router, we can plug a Ethernet in the back of the router and um, make our own Wi-Fi network, or we can use it as a range extender, which will take in the parrots, the drone's Wi-Fi signal, and make another signal and send that to our uh, device here. So we're going to want to click the second one right here. And this page is connecting to the uh, the network, and since we have the drone running already. It's going to pretty much automatically connect to that one. It's going to show all the networks in my house, and we're going to want to click the one from the drone. So this network right here is the network that we would usually connect to on our device to our drone. So this is the drone's network, and then we're going to want to click Next right here. And this is setting up your the name for the new network that you are going to connect to every time you fly the drone, and the uh, the password and all that stuff for the drone. So I'm just going to give it a name, Drone, 
pretty simple. You don't need anything really uh, that fancy. And then I'm going to make my password so you guys can just make whatever password you want. And then we're going to click the blue square for next. And then the next page that comes up is basically just a management password. This really, I don't even know what this page does. I just type in the exact same password that I typed in on the page before and we get, and it works. So we select the blue square after we type in that, it's going to process everything and we should have the router connected to the drone after it sets everything up. So it's going to go back to our settings page. It's going to, a lot of things are going to go crazy. It's going to connect to your home Wi-Fi, going to connect to the drone Wi-Fi. The Xiaomi thing's still going to be there, but eventually it'll just cancel out and you'll see drone or whatever you gave the name for the router here. So the drone Wi-Fi comes up. You enter the password for our network. And we should be connected there we go so I mean it's a little wonky it's not that I mean it's only a $20 router it's not gonna be the smoothest process but once you see the check mark next to drone you'll see LTE or whatever um, program you have for your internet and you can still use the internet and everything but it'll stay connected to the drone and the drone doesn't actually have its own internet it's just like a Bluetooth signal and then to make sure the drone is connected, we go to the Free Flight Pro app and we see that we are connected to the drone right here. So that's basically it guys. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helped you. Um, I know I had a hard time getting through the setup stage by myself without uh, being able to actually see anything because it was all in Chinese. But uh, I hope this video helped you um, just do basically what I did and you should be on your way to extending the range of your drone. So right now I'm going to put up some video of me flying the drone. I believe I got it out to about 600 feet. I didn't really test it that far. I still had some pretty good connection. I still had some really good uh, footage on the screen on my uh, phone. So with this range extender, I've seen people get it up to like a mile and a half. A kilometer and a half um, I got it up to maybe half a mile so this really works it really does extend the range of the drone and uh, yeah so for 20 bucks this is a great buy it extends the range of your drone and you will be flying farther than you ever will have before so if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like comment any questions you have and subscribe and I will see you guys later peace Thank you.